today we are going to learn division by 10, 100 and 1000. First let us do division by 10. Consider the following examples. 96 divided by 10. 96 is a two digit dividend. We arrange the dividend divisor first. You cannot divide 9 by 10 so you write a 0 and then divide 96 by 10. 10 nines are 90 so you write 9 minus 90 and the remainder is 6. So that's the quotient 9 and remainder 6. 742 by 10. 742 is a three digit, digit dividend. You write the dividend and divisor. You cannot divide 7. So you write a 0 above 7. And divide 74 by 10. 10 will go 7 times in 74. 10 sevens are 70. Subtract remainder 4 and bring down 2. Divide 42 by 10. 10 will go 4 times. Minus 40. Remainder is 2. So the quotient is 74 and the remainder is 2. 8321 is the dividend. A 4 digit number. Divide 8321 by 10. You cannot divide 8 by 10, so you write a 0. And 83 by 10, 10 will go 8 times. And 10 8s are 80, remainder 3, bring down 2. When you divide 32 by 10, it will go 3 times, minus 30, remainder is 2, bring down 1. 21 by 10. 10 will go 2 times, 10 twos are 20, remainder 1, so the quotient is 832 and remainder is 1. So what did you observe? That whenever we divide a number by 10, the last digit of the dividend is always the remainder. The number formed by the remaining digits of the dividend is the quotient. So as you saw in the examples we did just now, 96 by 10, the last digit 6 is the remainder and the quotient is 9. 742 by 10, the last digit 2 is the remainder and the quotient is 74. And 8321 by 10, the last digit 1 is the remainder and 832 is the quotient. Let's see what happens when you divide by 100. We'll consider an example. 5269 divided by 100. So I wrote the dividend, the divisor. I cannot divide 5, so I write a 0. I cannot divide 52 also. It is less than 100, so I put one more 0. And divide 526. 100 will go 5 times. So 100 fives are 500. And when I subtract the remainder is 26. And bring down 9. Now divide 269 by 100. 100 are 200. And the remainder is 69. So we got the quotient 52. And the remainder 69. So what did you observe here? That when we divide a number by 100, the last two digits of the dividend is always the remainder. And the number formed by the remaining digits of the dividend is the quotient. Now let us see what happens when we divide by 1000. Let's consider an, an example. 9,315 divided by 1,000. Write the dividend, the divisor. Can you divide 9? No, it is lesser than 1,000. So you write a 0. 
93 is also lesser than 1000. So you write a 0 again. 931 is also lesser than 1000. So we write a 0 and divide 9315 by 1000. 1000 will go 9 times. 1000 nines are 9000. And when you subtract, the remainder is 315. Quotient is 9 and remainder is 315. So what did we observe? That whenever we divide a number by 1000, the last three digits of the dividend is always the remainder and the number formed by the remaining digits of the dividend is the quotient. In this video, we learned that when we divide a number by 10, only the last digit is the remainder and the rest of the digits will form the quotient. When we divide a number by 100, the last two digits will be the remainder and the rest of the digits will form the quotient. When we divide a number by 1000, the last Three digits will be the remainder and the rest of the digits will form the quotient.